still in the San Diego area. Surprised they hadn't run me out of town yet. Uh, San Francisco, I think, is on lockdown. They don't want nobody outside unless you're uh, going to work, some kind of job that's still functioning, uh, going like to a medical facility, um, going shopping for necessities for your shut-in or exercising. I'm exercising. That's why I'm out here. Anyway, I got with one of my long-time, I guess, viewers. She has a Volvo 960, multiple problems. I took care of several of them yesterday, and I'm gonna try to do the heater core in that thing today, maybe the rear cam seal, which is a tough job on that 960, no space. Uh, hotel prices are plummeting. I'm paying, I guess, right now this is the cheapest one we've had the nicest room got a full kitchen in it about 80 a month 80 at night 85 a night somewhere between 80 and 90 at night uh, after I extended my room a couple of hours I seen that hot wire was offering this a room at this place $15 a night they trying to get this stuff you know I mean they're emptying out you know so maybe I'll be headed home uh, Friday, Saturday. But heck, I just might move into a hotel for the next several months. If I can get a room for 15 at night, uh, $150, $300, $600 a month to stay in a hotel, have somebody else doing everything. Shoot, it's cheaper than where I'm living. So um, I get what the government's trying to do with this corona thing. Uh, quarantining and isolation and self-isolation thing you know sad thing is they're doing it too late they should have done this a month ago you know a month ago it would have been squashed they still got people running around you know uh, people going through airport screenings look like a cattle call you know they all up on each other you know sad you know and I and I really understand what's going on with the people that are compromise you know folks that uh, going through cancer treatment stuff like that you don't want this somebody like me that's in relatively good health I might not even know I got it the whole time I got it but you know somebody pass it on to somebody like that they're gonna be hurting so uh, do what you can to protect your loved ones that are in compromise and uh, be safe don't go out if you don't have to you know, toilet paper is not the cure, but hey, you know, be civil. And uh, if you run out of toilet paper, big deal, just go wash your butt. When we travel around, we look for excellent breakfast spots. So we pick a hotel that has good breakfast. We pay for the breakfast, $100, $110, and they throw in a room. Now, with this coronavirus deal going on, they have shut down their breakfast spots. Sunday, when I went into the breakfast spot, there was probably food for 100 people and only me and one other guy in there. So I knew this was coming. So they've shut down the breakfast spots and this is what we get now. Continental breakfast compliments of the hotel. The game has changed. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video is composed of things that I tinkered with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the links in the comment section below. This video should contain tips and tricks of things that I've learned throughout the year. Now, I only plan on leaving this video posted for about 30 days. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Good morning, everybody. I am finally done with that V70R interior swap and timing belt job. Uh, Jay, I thought he was a faithful viewer, but he wasn't. He wasn't aware of some of the maintenance that you need to be more concerned with. Here with David, <laughs> we are replacing the cam seal behind this VVT hub. Uh, I was looking for my special seals from Swedish Car Parts 
couldn't find them. I don't know if they got tossed at my last visit. Anyway, looks like he's putting a new water pump on, timing belt, all that stuff. And he wanted me to double check that his crank is on spot. And it is. Right on point there. You can see by this ridge right here is lined up with his mark on the oil pump. So he's good to go. Ready to put this thing back together. <clears throat> Stop all this oil leak nonsense. I am here with Taylor. She can tell you what happens when you play coolant roulette. Go ahead, Taylor. Your head gasket blows and your coolant and goes nowhere. That's that. This is not fuel, people. That coolant is going somewhere. It's going somewhere. And what was it that was leaking? The coolant reservoir. The reservoir or the heater core? Was the heater, the heater core was leaking. <laughs> okay, so the we had yeah, the a, thing another the couple of people that's not quite watching the videos, <laughs> but they're learning. I'm here with Andrew in this T5M. What is this? A, a coral red? Is coral that what red is the official color. Man, that is a sweet, very sweet color. Awesome looking car. And then I found out in this freaking garage. This dude has like 700 cars in his garage. Look at all them things. They're all over the place. All kind of cars. Yeah, I know they're small and you can't drive them far. But heck, they're still cars. So he's a car guy. We're going to pull his dash. Uh, do some V70R upgrade uh, changes. And... Um, See if we could get everything done that he needs done. So we're going to start out ripping this dash out tonight. And the dash is out. Look at that beauty. Every one of the gosh dang mounts were busted out of this thing. And we're going to put a V70 um, shifter in there. Get rid of that 850 shifter. We have the mounts glued in place. We found all of the pieces, which is good. Now we're going to go ahead and strap them. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself We'll reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.